to assemble the parts of a fire hydrant i have to open all the files that i stored in one folder so click this uh, drop down arrow here and select open and then click drawing and i stored my drawing in one folder that i named hydrant for youtube so just click everything just press ctrl key and select everything and then open it will take time here to download so anyway i'm employing copy and paste command instead of using xref because the copied objects uh, becomes independent without altering the original drawing for example i could slice the object apply materials change the size without affecting the original drawing so now i'm gonna open the fire hydrant body which is the barrel and this is where i'm gonna do the assembling so now i'm gonna start with hydrant bonnet click that and make sure you, your drawing is in front view so just select that right click clipboard copy with base point i'm just gonna use the center here as base point so shift right click select center and then go back to fire hydrant body and just control v to paste and you can directly paste it on but the thing is we use this uh, center here for this uh, lower circle or the circuit lower face so what i'm gonna do is um snap the center of this uh, face here but it's easier to draw a line in this case so quadrant to quadrant and then create a line i'm just gonna hide this one first hide all right and then line again from quadrant to quadrant here all right so i'm gonna bring this one move shift right click and select uh, midpoint you can tell it's mid midpoint because of that triangle uh, symbol and then attach it to that midpoint so shift right click again select midpoint and snap now i could check if there is some um, interference by uh, so go to solid and inside the solid editing panel select interfere select this object and this object right click enter and enter again and when you go down here uh, by the command prompt it says object objects do not interfere so i'm gonna show you what happened when objects are interfering so i'm just gonna move this one downward and then select uh, interfere command select that and this one and enter again and see that solid color it means there is clashing of the objects so i'm just gonna close this one and undo interfere again i'm gonna check okay the next one i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna bring this to front view first is uh, touch the smaller cap so click that select the object right click clipboard copy with base point i'm just gonna snap the so shift right click in the center here and then go back to the fire hydrant body and then control v and um you can actually go directly it's kind of just be careful so hover over this side here so that side and you can see that center and snap you can always use um you can also move you can also use lines or move from quadrant here so shift right click select quadrant and snap it to the quadrant here so this, that quadrant so shift right click again select quadrant this lower one there you go and if i check interfere select this one and this object and enter so it says here objects do not interfere so no clashing and uh, the next one i'm gonna attach the nozzle bigger cap so same process select the object right click clipboard 
copy with base point i'm gonna select the center so shift right click and select center then go back to the fire hydrant uh, body which is the barrel and then um control v to paste no bring this one to um right view first there you go and then control v there you go and then you can paste it to the center so just well the safest way is to use quadrant okay move all right this one so move quadrant to quadrant here so shift right click again and select uh, quadrant there you go now i'm gonna check for reference interfere this one and this one so objects do not interfere so we're good i'm gonna change this to x-ray also you can check uh, what's happening inside but using interference is interfere command is the best way to check if there's no to check if there's clashing now I'm going to bring this drawing to front view and then mirror this one, mirror this cap. So MI for mirror command and then look, look at center of an object. So maybe we could use the center of the bottom and then just uh, move your cursor downward or upward. Make sure your auto mode is on here at the status bar. So there would be no problem so just go straight enter and select no and now i'm gonna use interfere again for this one and this one oh the, the bigger one and it says objects do not interfere so i'm just gonna bring this one to um realistic and then maybe apply materials so materials type in materials and i'm just gonna use this rusted um, material for the caps and this one too all right now if i slice the object so bring this drawing to top view and if i want to slice this object so select slice inside the solid editing panel select everything and slice from i'm just gonna use polar tracking just follow that green dash line to know that it's straight there you go and specify a point on the desired side i could use um i could keep both sides or keep one side so just i'm just gonna use the half of it above so there you go okay so this is um what happened here So you can see you can also use section plane but I prefer this one all right there you go so you can edit this one without altering the original drawing because it's just copy and paste instead of extra I'm just gonna undo 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 and I think we are done so you can also attach a uh, bolts nuts and bolts here see these holes here and this one at the bottom and i think i have a tutorial somewhere in my um channel how to create bolts and nuts and you can also adjust the size so thanks for watching